Hey guys and welcome back to A Real Horror Show, the YouTube channel dedicated to all things horror. I'm your host Liam and this is my co-host Jamie and today we're going to be talking about the top 5 collectibles in Liam's collection. Let's get to it. So, before we start going into the top five, first of all, how long have you been collecting these collectibles for? Oh, I'd say seriously collecting. As a real collector, I'd say about, oh, it could be about seven years. When I got when I got my first job and uh, decided instead of being an adult, I'd spend all my <laughs> money on toys instead. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, you've definitely, you've certainly done that. Now, like, guys, obviously you can't see this and the future plan is to do a room tour, but you can only see two walls. There's like, the walls behind the camera, they're also covered head to toe. So I mean... Yeah. It's like a museum. <laughs> if you were to guess, if you were to guess, how much would you say that you've actually spent on these figures? Uh, more than any normal human being should spend, probably. <laughs> on something in the... No, yeah. I, 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 to be honest, I don't have a clue. <laughs> and, and like, do you reckon these have appreciated in value? Do you reckon that, like, if you were to sell it all now, do you reckon it's gone up? I'd say a few things are, yeah. and uh, mainly the five I've selected. Yeah, I mean, I'm talking about that top five, how hard was it to select oh. five figures? Because, I mean, you've got such a big collection that I, I, it must have been near impossible to just select five of the best Yeah, ones. I mean, we'll have to probably throw in an honourable honorable mention <laughs> part at the end, because I've got, like, so much I stuff bet you that I do. just love. I so bet, too difficult. Too I difficult bet you could do about choose. seven honourable mentions. Yeah, really, definitely. A lot of people always ask on Instagram, like, what is my favourite item or my top five favourite items and stuff. And I always say it's <laughs> too difficult to choose. That's why yeah. all these items coming up that we're going to talk about, they're in no particular order. They're just, um, yeah, they just <laughs> what I thought might be the top five. <laughs> right. Well, there's plenty of talking about it. So without further ado. Let's get to it. Okay, so coming in at fifth place, what have you got for us? So fifth place has got to be um, my Pamela Voorhees uh, San Diego Comic Con 2015 figure by NECA Toys. And uh, this is probably one of the rarest horror figures on the market. Really? Fair. Very limited edition and uh, it goes for stupid money now on the second hand market on eBay and stuff. So I mean, if you were to look for it on eBay, what sort of price range for oh. people who are interested in possibly buying this and adding it to the collection how much would you I be think you could easily pay over 400 pound really alone for, for this much? one figure maybe maybe even more now I'm, I'm not too sure it's it's kind of crazy and that's fifth place <laughs> and that's fifth place I mean that just goes to show what, there's some things <laughs> what's up, coming up there's some <laughs> things above it that mean a bit more to me than this I yeah guess. more sentimental, sentimental value. Value. not 100%. so much that it might be not as expensive but it means more to you personally that's it i can see you've got a couple of signatures there a couple yeah. of squiggles who's uh who's on these ones so the first one is ari layman who played young jason, young jason in yeah. the original friday the 13th yeah. and um i also got it signed by special effects artist master tom savini <laughs> the legend the, the legend, legend himself, himself. Uh, who did the makeup and all the effects in the original Friday? In fact, I think maybe all the Friday the 13th, so if, if I'm not yeah. wrong there. Um, so I got those signatures at conventions a couple of years ago, and yeah, it just makes it one of the rarest figures in, in the collection. It's just a really beautiful figure as well. I mean, NECA always hit the ball at the park, so. Yeah. And it's still available, like, you can still find this on second hand marketplace. Oh, yeah, yeah, but. Um, it's just gonna stupid be stupid money here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think what we'll do is like everything that we list, even though obviously they won't have the signatures attached, we will um, find the product and link it in the description below just so you can take a look at it if anyone is interested in adding this to their collection. 100%. Okay, now coming in at number four, what have you got for us? So, this is a really sentimental piece of my collection and it's a Vital Toys 
Rocky Horror picture show action figure of Dr. Frankenfurter. Great movie. Um, yeah, it's one of the best. The ultimate Tim Curry classic. <laughs> Tim Curry, one of his greatest roles. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Completely iconic and just yeah. Tim Curry's a national treasure. Yeah, so of course he's what a guy. So what makes this one so special and so worthy of the number four place? Well, the main thing is that um, it's signed by the legend himself, who I met at Texas Frightmare convention in 2019. And uh, it was such an amazing experience meeting Tim Curry. I've, you know, he's an idol of mine, a hero, and um, it was just an amazing experience. Serious distance to travel for a convention. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, but the, that is dedication to the cause of cosplay. <laughs> One of the most incredible conventions that you can go to. So. And I mean, can you still get these? Are these still available? They're still available. Um, this one's the priciest of, of the bunch that they made. But it's a very old figure, so but but still, you can still get them for a good price if you look for them. Age-wise, what we're talking, how old is this? Yeah, it's nearly as old as me. Uh, it's uh, so thirty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky bastard. Uh, no, uh, so this came out in two thousand, so it's a, it's yeah. one of the oldest figures, and I, I get scared handling it. <laughs> right, okay. Mainly because of the Tim Curry autograph on there now. Yeah, um, it seems shaking. So yeah. we're gonna move on to number three, so we can put it back in its cabinet. Okay, we'll see you in a second. <laughs> Okay, so swiftly moving on to number three, what's next in land? So, at number three, I've got <laughs> my Evil Dead 2 replica chainsaw hand. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. So, this uh, replica chainsaw hand, is this like a copy of the one from the original film? So, what it is, it's the uh, exact same model of chainsaw used in the production of Evil Dead 2. It's a oh, home like nice. XL chainsaw. Um, so, I had to import this from America and then uh, edit it so yeah. I could obviously turn it into a chainsaw hand as you see in the film. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, in terms of the customs, has anyone done any custom? Did you do it yourself or? So, I constructed it myself, I put the parts together, but a lot of the custom parts, like the fake chainsaw plate, the handle, all that kind of stuff, uh, was made by a gentleman called Rob McLean from uh, EvilDeadChainsaws.com. Big shout, out, Rob! Put him in the description below. Yeah, amazing artist. Uh, he's been making them for years. Man, nice. uh, you, you can know, see how good it is from him. Like from the, the parts that he's yeah. created. It does weigh a ton, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> conventions absolutely. can be very difficult. Like that. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, like a chainsaw number three compared to the last two. I mean, is it as special as the other ones? I mean, I noticed that there's a little squiggle on the inside there. So what's that? It is, and it's signed by the king himself, Mr. Bruce Campbell. So there you go. <laughs> That's why I got to number three, obviously. Yeah, it's just that uh, for a lot of people know that my favourite film of all time is Evil Dead 2. Oh, yeah, so we know it. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Um, <laughs> But it's a very special piece of the collection, so yeah, I love this one a lot. Really cool piece, really cool piece. Nice. So, coming in at number two... Is this? My replica 1984 Freddy Krueger glove by NECA Toys. I mean, this is just such an essential piece to any horror collection. Isn't it? Yeah. I mean, if you don't have a Freddy glove, then you can't class yourself as a collector. Sure, surely not. Yeah. I mean, you've, you've got it. If you're a horror collector, if you want a collection, you need this item. And I mean, again, another signature. Yep, signed by the man of our dreams, Robert Englund, <laughs> uh, who is, by the way, one of the nicest people you could ever meet. Yeah, he's a cool he, guy. He's amazing. He? He's in fact, cool the first time I met Robert, I actually made a video for my brother yeah. of Robert sending him a message. He did a, he did a, welcome to prime time, bitch, <laughs> to me. <laughs> Jamie Robinson, welcome to prime time, my little bitch. Cut. He <laughs> saw. I mean, that gave me a few nightmares, but that was a, a great, great thing by Robert Wernick. He's a, he's a really cool guy. Now, in terms of this glove, I mean, how much are you talking? Oh, it's, it's around £100. It came out a few years ago, but NEC is still producing to this day. As far as I'm aware, you can easily pick one up again. And I mean, is this like, the best quality of the uh, glove that you can find? Or I mean, is the custom ones out there that oh, probably be better? Yeah. Yeah, but... If you want custom made gloves, there's, there's companies you can check out like Nightmare Gloves, who yeah. um, are Robert Englund's glove of choice right, and okay. makes them you know um, but as far as it goes a, a, a produced glove like this uh, it's it's really good I mean Necker have got all the details like there's a hole in the glove here and in production one of the blades broke off and Necker's even done that detail yeah, added the weld haven't they which yeah. is yeah so I mean it's really, really good attention to detail isn't it yeah, yeah. and Just overall 
essential item for Oracle. It's essential. You've got to get one. Okay, so before we get to our number one pick, we're going to do a few honourable mentions. So, Liam, three honourable mentions. Third place, what are you going for? So, oh, it's still so hard to choose all my favourites. You know, even eight doesn't do it justice. But coming in at number three, we're going to start with these NECA Toys cult classics Halloween figures from the original 1978 film. Now, most horror collectors know that these are holy grail action figures. They came yeah. out, I think, 2005 or sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 carry on, carry on. Go on. Coming out in when? <laughs> <laughs> so these came out in 2006, and um, yeah, they're just extremely rare on the second hand yeah. market. Again, I, I think these sell for like. Oh, 300 plus for both. I'm so Ma sorry for pretending to drop it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise it were that much. It's fine. You know, I only 300 each? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I only protect them with my life. So yeah. <laughs> no, but um, you know, even though they're old, they still hold up to this day. They're still wonderful items and uh, classic. They, they look great. And they're in great condition. They really are. Okay, cool. So, putting those down, <laughs> coming in at number two, what have you got? So, number two. Uh, I'd have to go with this box set right here. Again, another NECA Toys piece, and it's uh, a box set of Reagan from The Exorcist. Uh, the greatest horror, mo horror film of all time. Yeah, no. it's, it's, it's <laughs> up there as like one of the all-time greatest, yeah. if not My the personal greatest. Favorite. My personal favourite, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, I love this box set because I just love how it's like a whole diorama piece of like Reagan in the bed. <laughs> that blue scared, rays, the blue ray strap back. Yeah, <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> but I love how um, you get the whole diorama and there's actually a little button in the back and when it's pressed she'll spin her head 360 degrees which is a wonderful detail by Necker. Nice, nice. Okay so coming in at the number one for the honourable mentions, what have you got? I've got to choose this beautiful custom made six scale Jack Torrance figure from The Shining made by Craft Great. One. Great movie. Yeah, in fact, that along with The Exorcist might be one of the best horror films Even ever. Even though made. I still do not have a clue what the ending means. If anyone knows what the ending means, legitimately, please put it in the comments below. I would love to know people's opinions. I really want to know. I haven't got a clue. Yeah, let us know what your theories are down in the comments. <laughs> We'd love to see them. Uh, this figure though, it's just oh, it's just so good. The likeness of Jack Nicholson is amazing, and um, yeah, that's got to be my number one honourable mention. It's probably one of my favourite figures in my entire collection. Still available? Uh, no, this no. is the long out of print. I, I don't know uh, how many they actually made, but you can still find them on the second hand market. But again, if you do, the prices are going to be stupid. Go so, on, any idea? Any uh, range? I actually picked this up for a good price. I got this on eBay not too long ago, around 140. Okay. But I've seen it go for a lot more, so I'm quite lucky with that find. Well, we'll try and farm one and we'll put it in the link below Absolutely. if there is one available. Again, amazing work by Craft One, just beautiful. Definitely. Okay, last but not least, we have finally got to number one. So if you stuck it out this far, we'd like to say thank you. So without further ado, what's number one, Liam? What's the number one collectible figure? in this beautiful collection. So I'd have to say my number one item is the boogeyman himself, Michael Myers. Now this thing is absolutely beautiful. Now let's bring it down without me pretending to drop it <laughs> and pass it over to you. Now in terms of like the mask, I mean obviously you can buy tons of Michael Myers masks all over the internet for different quality. What makes this mask so special? So this is a mask made by Nag Studios, Nag Masks, and uh, he's one of the greatest mask sculptors for Michael Myers you, you can find um, it's just the quality is insane the sculpts are amazing he, like Nick does an insane job on these masks if shout you, out to Nick yeah shout out to Nick if you want a replica 1978 Michael Myers mask that's the man to go to yeah this is the nag 75k castle edition uh, he does all kinds of different sculpts but this was the one that really shouted 978 to me and yeah. I got that. So I mean in terms of like these masks, I mean how much are you talking um, in this so, one particular? So I think Nick charges around always oh, a 300 okay. I think for a mask Very nice. and uh, and yeah he, it's uh, again he, it's just 
an amazing sculpt, amazing mask. Also, this mask was rehauled by Damien Mortar, who is an amazing artist. Uh, if you want to get one of your masks rehauled, if you like a Trick or Treat Studios mask or just any sculpt that you've got, I'd recommend send, send it off to Damien and he'll do a, a beautiful job of it. We'll link him below. Uh, so, I mean, in terms of mechanic number one, I mean, there's a couple of little squiggles on the side again, like yeah, the rest of the collection. Once again, so, um, what makes this your number one item? So, first of all, on this side, it's signed by the shape himself, Nick Castle. The original. Who, the original Michael Myers. Um, uh, and on the other side, it's signed by the master of horror himself, John Carpenter. No, I mean, that's crazy having both their signatures on one mask. I mean, if there's any other collectors out there who've got these signatures and got their masks and we'd, we'd love to see them. Please, yeah. you know, send them to us on the uh, Instagram page. That'd be great. Yeah, please share like your collections with us and your items and we'd, we'd, we'd love to see them. Okay, guys, so that was the video of my top five items in my horror collection. Yeah, and I mean, if you like this sort of content, guys, we're just getting started. I mean, if you could give us a comment on suggestions for material that you'd like to see. Uh, also, like, subscribe and share the channel if you can. Um, we're going to try and find all the figures mentioned in this video, uh, and if we can, and link them below if you're interested in purchasing them. Also, we're going to link the artists that we've mentioned in the video below. So, we're going to keep it going, and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon on the next one. Thank you very much. Take care.